Five, Alex Jones may have returned to Connecticut for his defamation trial, but he has yet to return to the stand. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is covering the trial for us. He is live outside the courthouse with more from the families who actually took the stand today. Right, Dennis? Yes, Mark, that's right. Parents of some of the victims, they continue to detail what they've been through dealing with Sandy Hook shooting deniers, influence they say by Alex Jones. Now, these are the last of the witnesses for the plaintiff's side. Jones's side, meanwhile, has said that the InfoWars host will be their only witness. However, before Jones returns to the stand, he made his voice loud and clear again outside the courthouse. Lawyers for Sandy Hook victims' families continue to demonstrate to the jury how Alex Jones's coverage of the shooting impacted them. Francine Wheeler, whose son Ben died that day, described how her career as a performer was used against her to justify her being called a crisis actor. They took my identity, and then they took my husband's identity. They took my surviving child's identity, who was hiding in the gym. Testimony today explored how Jones's lies affected the victim's siblings. The mother of victim, Daniel Barden, Jackie, explained how paranoid her daughter became after finding out about threats against the family. She said, when I come home, I'm afraid. When I'm in college, nobody knows who I am. And we felt terrible. We thought we should have moved because we all was, we didn't realize that. <laughs> Jackie's husband, Mark, took the stand. Lawyers went over comments on this video. Here's one from three years ago. LOL, this is so fake. They don't even remember what year their son died in. Meanwhile, outside, Alex Jones again called foul on his trial, saying how he won't be able to defend himself due to the parameters of his sanctions. I am strongly considering tomorrow when I get put on the stand looking at the judge and saying, you've barred me from saying I'm innocent. This isn't a real court, so I take the Fifth Amendment. Court resumes at 10 tomorrow morning. Again, tentatively, uh, Jones is scheduled to return to the stand. Now, once he testifies, testimony for this trial is expected to wrap. Live here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.